Arr! I think you're quite right, Jeff. Don't let Ricari tell you what to do. Hey, everyone, I'm here with Joe Neat, executive producer at Rare. Joe, how are you, mate? I'm very, very well indeed. Yes. Welcome back to Gamescom. It's one of my favourite shows. All the fans, the best, meeting people, it's like it's amazing. The energy is incredible and the scale, right? It's so huge. Do you know what? It's funny you say that. It's been nice just hanging out with you for the last 15 minutes yeah. because there's so many Sea of Thieves fans have just come up to you and, and wanted to talk about the game. Oh, that's it's, awesome. It's isn't great, it? isn't it? Asking when we're putting fishing in. Yeah, <laughs> like, that seems to be the common question. But, uh, so, yeah. what's the answer? <laughs> Like, we hear the feedback. <laughs> we hear the feedback. <laughs> All right, good. So, Curse Sales has been out for about three, four weeks now? Uh, three weeks, yeah, yeah. How's the community been responding to that? Really great. Like, introducing skeleton ships into the world like we did with this kind of cool campaign with their different battles each week and this, like, side quest you can do as well, like, about the kind of background of how these came into the world. Right. We love introducing new content in that way to Sea of Thieves. And so, it's been great to kind of see how players have been getting on with this, the creative use of mechanics with the, with the skeleton ships and yeah. stuff um, so yeah loads of great feedback and but also stuff that we've learned right like people going you know we put a lot of um, different commendations and things you could achieve like reasons to replay into into the game yeah. uh, but and we set them at different times and different weeks and for some of our players that was a little bit too much and so it's like okay like for the next for Sacred Shores campaign we kind of dial in that back so that it's a bit more relaxed a bit more chill you've got more t- time and opportunity to go right. and do it and kind of take part in that campaign so yeah we're always learning so when you go from like uh, you know Cursed Sails to Forsaken Shores to whatever you've got lined yeah. up in the future what are you learning about player behaviour in each of those updates like with Cursed Sails right you've got alliances you've got scaly ships what kind of behaviour have you seen that, that... Um, the alliances stuff has been amazing to see how that has influenced player behaviour and, and just ch- changed like the interaction with people out in the seas because I, I play Sea of Thieves as a fan right? Like you know, I've got the best job in the world like, I get paid to be a fan of my, the game I work on it's awesome um, but so I was playing at the weekend and whenever I go in now I always put the alliance flag on so so like anybody that sees me sees that shape of the flag right. and like I, so I'm hoping that they're going to not be aggressive towards me and, and a lot of the time you know you'll see someone will join your alliance or they'll shout to you over the speaking trumpet so nice. it's really great to be able to signal your intent from distance and and to, uh, just those those human interactions and behaviours it's so unique to what our game is I think alright so Forsaken Shores is literally on the horizon yes. what have you got coming up for us soon uh, yeah so Forsaken Shores uh, loads of stuff right so um, <laughs> uh, like I think we've got some, hopefully we've got some footage that we're going to be showing off uh, around this, around the world, right? And so um, it's a volcanic world Mm -hmm. and it's much more perilous than anything, any other part of the world that we've put in. So you're still going to start in the parts of the world you currently start in and you have to make a choice to venture to to the Devil's Roar, which is the name of this area, right? And um, the the volcano is like some sometimes they're going to be kind of dormant they're not going to be going off and mm-hmm. so but then you might get a little bit of tremors a little bit of earthquake that gives you a signal that maybe something's not right on the island and might lead you to now want to kind of maybe hide in a cave or get off the island and back to your boat and wait and see um, it depends kind of what circumstances you're in what stuff like how much loot you've got and everything but yeah. then if it does kick off you've got like uh, geysers which will fly you up into the air if you're like running across the island you can get pinged up into the air um, you've got rocks raining down mm-hmm. the, the water gets Gets superheated around the islands too, so it becomes you like if you swim through it, you're gonna you're basically you're gonna get cooked alive, right? Nice. And so um, <laughs> and so that's why the rowboat is coming yes. in alongside for safe shores, which is you're gonna find these in the world emergently, and you can then take it back to your boat and like dock it to your boat and take it with you. Um, but like when that water superheated, you can use the rowboat to kind of get through it, and um, uh, you can fill it up with loot. And one of my favourite images actually from um, there was a video someone put together speculating about what they could do with this, and they just filled it with uh, snakes and explosive barrels like the robo and uh, like you can just imagine just push that off sailing to another ship and like good luck <laughs> but um, I'm really looking forward to that creativity that players do with this and so one other thing that's really cool that we're bringing in with um, the Forsaken Shores mm. uh, is a new uh, quest for the merchants okay. called Cargo Runs so this is where you're going to like you can take a cargo run on uh, you'll kind of get a, a, like a, an ask from an NPC that will go hey I want you to deliver this stuff to, to this place in the world um, um, and so there's like bottles of rum, which are a bit delicate. So if you're jumping around them, they're going to get damaged, lower in value. So you've got yeah. to keep them, like you've got to keep them kind of safe. Protect so your don't rum. get into a battle, right? You know, it's very important, very yeah. important thing. Um, uh, like like cloth, expensive cloth, which you can't really get wet. If you get it wet, it produces in value. So again, don't leave it on the top of the boat in a storm, but okay. don't put it on the bottom because if the water starts filling up. Nice. And then plants as well. So if you're taking plants across the world, you want to keep them wet so that right. they stay kind of healthy. So maybe you want to fill up the bottom deck of your boat and then just put the plant down there like by you know taking some damage and then repairing it and not bailing so it's going to be really interesting to see that because I could come onto your boat see your stuff and I could 
do what I wanted. Like, you know, I could start pouring water on your, uh, on your cloth for a laugh, or I could steal it and take it because it'll, I'll be able to know where I need to take that. So Wicked. it's like really cool for us to be introducing new ways to play, especially for the merchants, because, you know, our data and feedback tells us that that's the one people kind of wanted something new to kind of go and play with us. Absolutely. So. Have you got new build rat uh, adventures? We do indeed, well. yes. So that's coming after Curse Sales, and that will be Curse Cruise. So that's where we introduce uh, Curse Cannonballs to the world. Okay. So they're going to be found emergently. Um, you know, we've upgrading our inventory system to allow you to manage different cannonballs and stuff. So finding one of those and using one of the players, is, you're going to see so much fun. Like the, the rudder ball, which locks your steering so you can't steer for a while. Yeah. Like, I'm going to use that when someone is sailing towards a giant rock or an island and just watch the chaos ensue, right? Love but that. Um, but we're, so we're bringing those in and all the accommodations will be around it. But because a lot of them are going to be around combat and using cursed cannonballs, we're also bringing in the Reaper's Mark, which is a flag you can fly. Okay. And it will then put your ship on the map for everyone else in your world to see. Yeah. So it's kind of like... Bring it. Come right, on. Right, that's it, Come on, have a go if you think yeah, you're hard yeah. enough. Or it could be like the, the, the person that um, does our like loot and lore game show. Like it's a, a member of our community that does this game show all the time. Amazing. Yeah. Like maybe he'll use it to put himself on the map so that people will see him and come to him, and he'll be like, "No, you're right, I'm friendly. I've got, I'm, I'm doing a game show." Um, <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah, it's like... Joel, you've got an amazing exciting. Sea of Thieves community as well, you yes. just mentioned there. I know there was there's someone in your community that you want to give a shout-out to, I'm yes, sure, right? Yes, absolutely. So, got this tweet a couple of days ago. So, Liam, uh, who is seven years old, uh, has become Pirate Legend recently. And for us to be able to create a game like this, a multiplayer game like Sea of Thieves, and it's, it's, a, you know, it's a long kind of way to get to Pirate Legend. He yeah. has played the game That's for serious. a lot. And so, to have a seven-year-old playing an online game like this and have played it for so long and to become a legend in our game, like, kudos to, to Liam. Absolutely, that, like, yeah. I think we should both give him a salute. Indeed. Here's to you, Liam. Boom. Well played. All right, Joe, thank you so much. Tell us when Forsaken Shores will be uh, hitting the seas. Yes, so it will be hitting the seas on September the 19th, which okay. coincidentally is International Talk Like a Pirate Day. So Fantastic. it all just converges, doesn't it? So, oh, yeah. yeah. Jeff, Jeff's going to be delighted. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> All right, Joe, thank you very much for your time, man, as you. always, mate. And don't forget, you can play Sea Thieves right now with Xbox, Xbox Game Pass. Let me try and get my words out. I think I've been on that yeah. wrong. <laughs>